Hey everyone. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, in my last uh, experiment with testing whether or not a 3D printed uh, barrel can withstand the chamber pressure of something as small as just a, you know, little 22 bullet here, you know, the little one. Uh, the video will be at the end of this video, so you can see that video and then come back to this video if you want. Uh, but you got to take your bet first if it worked or not. So the next thing I was going to do is test one that is done using uh, filament. This is PLA plus uh, six inches with a three inch diameter. And so what I did is I made it so that the infill was uh, like, I think, 10 or 15 percent. The idea being that uh, it gives a little cushion. It's not, you know, so brittle. It had like hopefully a little cushion. We'll see what happens. Um, I, I don't think it'll work. I really don't. Um, anyway, so we're going to do this. However, first thing we need to do, because when you 3D print something, um, you got to be pretty precise with this at least. So we're going to take the measure of the bullet, which is of course uh, 0.224. Okay, so 0.224. And we have a drill bit that is 0.226. Perfect. Because when you print the hole in this, uh, the, the filament has like a margin of error of, I think, 0.02, and I tried to account for it, but it's off by just like, I'd say like five thousandths of an inch. So anyway, let's do that. And now, all right, guys, I, for some reason, I was dropped off on a planet with like the, just the dumbest sentience. Uh, okay. It, by the way, uh, meet me at camera two here. Hold on. We need to talk about something here, guys. All right, guys, listen up. Uh, everyone I've talked to about doing this little experiment has just flipped their panties off or something. I don't know. I mean, Jesus Christ, I was dumped off on the planet with the dumbest fucking people or something. I don't know. So anyway, I'm not 3D printing a gun. Uh, there's plenty of other channels out there, people 3D printing a gun. My point in contention, especially in the wake of this... Uh, uh, the killing of the healthcare CEO, and everyone's all, oh, you're 3D printing guns, 3D printing this and that. And my contention was, there's no way that a 3D printed gun could withstand the chamber pressure of a fired bullet. So that's what this is. It's like I'm a myth buster, okay? Because all the 3D printed guns I've seen online have all been uh, essentially printing the lower receiver. Now let's talk a little bit about how stupid all this is. The lower receiver is basically the, 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 the handle and the trigger and the mechanism inside that holds the clip, this and that. That is the lower receiver. I wish I had a gun here that I could show you. Yeah, I'll put a picture up. That lower receiver is what has the serial number on it. Now, the way guns are designed is all the parts are interchangeable. That was kind of a big thing that happened uh, uh, like in the... Well, 1800s where they made interchangeable parts for guns but the bullet follow along here goes out the barrel and when you do a ballistics check you fire another bullet through the barrel and you match the markings on the bullet that's how you do a forensic research to make sure it's the right gun but the serial number being on the lower receiver and you can just swap out the barrel. So you can like literally go shoot, pow, 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 button, and then switch out the barrel uh, and then let the cops get you. And they'll be like, oh, we got the gun. And they check it. And it's like, well, this is the one that serial numbered registers this person, but the barrel doesn't match. So I'm really thinking that there's some immense amount of stupidity that went on with all this. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it had to do with the gun lobbyists uh, giving it nice and good to the uh, politicians who put the laws in place. Uh, needless to say, there's a remarkable amount of stupidity that I have to deal with. And in this particular case, for this video, it really has to do with just proving or disproving the fact that a 3D printed barrel cannot withstand the chamber pressure of even the smallest little bullet you can fire from it. 
Uh, in the other video, I'll just, you know, I'll just run it for you. I used a little 22 and the things blew apart. It, it was pretty funny. You should watch the video just for that. Um, so anyway, so let's go ahead and match drill this and then we'll put it in our little test rig and uh, see if this holds. Okay, everybody on idiot land, here we go. First of all, headset. Eye protection. All right, so as what we have here is the barrel is right there. It's duct taped in uh, because I don't want any blowback, you know, because this one really, as you see, even shot the wood out. So anyway, this is just a little extra safety. Uh, it's a PLA Plus 3D printed, low density infill, and ready for the bullet. So I'm going to put the bullet in here. Uh -huh. right there and i've got the target set up this is just to see if the bullet actually does go that way as in this has worked to some degree uh take your bets um we'll see what happens by the way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put on my other gloves here real quick but this is going to be my firing pin so there's actually no mechanism to fire this in case your panties are really bunched up about what I'm about to do. All right. Okay, if your name is Kevin, your panties are about to get bunched up into a quantum void here. Last chance for bets. Well, shit. Okay, try number two. Guess this way you don't bring a homemade gun to a knife fight. Also, I added the uh, can there. Uh, just so you know, I'm not endorsed or endorsing uh, Mountain Dew or whatever beverage company owns it. This is just, uh, or I guess added special effects or something. I don't know. Okay. Three, two, one. Son of a bitch. Okay, a tip number Holy shit, I'll be damned. Now, just to be clear, it hit the can. You all saw that. But I can't see any, uh, I mean, like, even if it dented it, I don't even see maybe right there, but there's like three little dents right there. I wish I had a slow-mo camera to see what went on, but like it didn't even dent the can. Kind of crazy. Huh. It blew apart the chamber a little bit, but. All right. Well, as you can see, it did something really kind of odd there. I guess it wasn't the uh, the chamber. It was just not snug enough for it. Or maybe the, you know, it's too loose and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Now, this is some really uh, deep dive in here we got to do, guys. Got some engineering to do, which we're not going to do. But. 
uh, you can tell okay as you can see I mean it really blew apart the whole chamber there uh, where the bullet was and just really blew it apart uh, let's see if we can get something a little bit better down in here so it kind of made it more or less through yeah, it's really fascinating guys anyway uh, so you can just see that uh, experiment number two was interesting it was very interesting I gotta say uh, unexpected results but I'm not sure if this proves or disproves the fact that you can 3d print a barrel I would imagine if you did some type of hybrid thing where you can like you know something that can hold the just the explosion of the the casing but yet the expanding gas is somehow absorbed so that it I'm not gonna go down this rabbit hole but uh, I guess my initial theory is that maybe you can plausible this is plausible anyway all right I hope you like the uh, experiment this will be the end of my experimenting with this uh, I hope you found it useful and uh, not too dangerous and or you're going to do something illegal yourself. All right. This is Steve MacGyver checking out.